All right, and up next, we got a featherweight bout between Timur Valiev and Martin Day. Uh, Timur is somebody we actually highlighted in our prospect video. So again, if you haven't checked that out, you know, highlighting the prospects in the UFC for February 2020, Timur is a huge part of that. So, you know, we're really looking forward to seeing him fight this weekend. Uh, you know, he does sport that 16 and 2 record. He's going to be looking for his first UFC win after that first one ended in a no contest due to a little, uh, a little uh, schmoky schmoky. You know? <laughs> so uh, that was against Trevin Jones. So, you know, he is going to be looking for that, uh, that, that first UFC, you know, win under his belt. He mm -hmm. was supposed to take on uh, Julio Ars here, but uh, Ars had to withdraw. And so Martin Day stepped in on short notice. And that's what we're going to get this Saturday. Uh, Martin Day on the flip side, you know, he comes in with an eight and five record and he has lost three in a row in the UFC. So it's safe to say this is going to be a pretty important one for him. He fought twice in 2020 against uh, Anderson De Dos Santos and Davy Grant, both of which, you know, he was knocked out in. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, this one's not, not going to be any easier for him. Uh, where, where do you see this one going, man? Yeah, so funny enough, you know, he just touched on the video that we talked about. And when you think about how the fights have changed since making that video, I mean, you could make the argument that Valiev is going to actually fall a little bit higher in our rankings from that spot that he was originally in. Mm -hmm. I think it was eighth. Uh, yeah, so great showing on Dana White Contender Series, but he did get slept for a little what I consider a bit of undis like, you know, that, that wasn't very disciplined stuff. You know, heads were down, just got clipped, dropped, fight ended. Got the no contest. This is kind of like a redo debut. You know, that's what I'm going to call. It. I'm going to call it a redo yeah. debut. So let's let's talk about how <laughs> you know the leg kicks did some good damage. You know, that's what I really like. If he can keep that chin tuck, keep his hands up, and stay a little bit responsible, he he, he should have an opportunity here. You got the speed on the Martin Day side. You know, coming up from bantamweight, uh, I think you know maybe for him not having to do the weight cut might be a really good um, aspect for him. But at the same time, value is showing that he can attack all three levels on the feet. That's what I really like. He didn't really have to showcase too much of the wrestling, but I I, I think in this case. With a striker like with uh, with a really good striker like Martin Day, it, it might come into play. You know, you talked about his 0-3 record dating back to 2018. He's 0-2 in 2020. He really is a veteran, just trying to you know stay in there and keep fighting the best. And uh, I think the feints, level changes, mm -hmm. use that speed. You know, stay away from the fence, things like that. You're just gonna have to you know pot shot and box this man up for for, for three rounds. Try to get your knockout yeah. punches if you can, but stay disciplined, man. Like that, that's what it's about. Keep your legs safe. You know, you try to avoid some of those big leg kicks because <laughs> your legs are going to be exposed as that ranger fighter. And the moment you try to kind of, you know, lean in or jump in, he's, he's going to be trying to attack body, leg, maybe that head when that when that time comes. So that's a little stuff. I, I just think, like, if Martin Day's trying to win this fight, he, he's got to keep an eye out for those kinds of things. Yeah, for sure. Definitely going to have to protect himself against someone like Timur for sure. So, you know, where do you see the Vegas line landing on this one? The line actually just came out on this one. So it's, it's going to be fresh for both of us. Yeah. Uh, so let's be real. We know that Valley has a favorite, correct? Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. So I'm going to go with the minus 350 line is what I have written down here. Oh, my goodness, dude. That what? is insane, man. Is, is there like a, a way we can give you like a heightened bell for nailing it on the number? Because that's something else. That's like the price is right, you know? When you, when you get the showcase oh, showdown with shit. $100 yeah, yeah, and you yeah, get yeah, both yeah. prizes, that's what that shit is, you know? <laughs> uh, well done, uh, man. Well done. Ooh, he is, I feel hot now. He's a minus 350 on the dot. You get to take home the boat, the car, and the trip. Well done. <laughs> I uh, look forward to it, Pies. Let me know where to pick them up. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to holler at Drew Carey for that one. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, my, my, <laughs> minus 350 for that one. Like I said, and it's a new line too, out, eh? So we, Woo! Yeah. So we don't have anything for the finishes or rounds or anything like that. But uh, yeah, on opening line, you, you nailed it. Teamer at minus 350 on the dot. <laughs> Shall we say uh, uh, Zalal Valiev part? I knew he was going to ask me. I knew he was going to ask me. Um, and I <laughs> How can think, I not, man? How can I, I, think, not? I, I think I think that your confidence level in Valiev should not be... Uh, actually, like, let's rephrase that. I think your confidence level in Valiev should stay a bit higher than Yusuf Zalal's in this very moment right now as we speak. Okay. Personally, off the top of my head. Okay. And I think the line dictates right. that as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're, we're talking to 250 minus 350, so. Exactly. Yeah, stay tuned for that one. Uh, see if we but take yes, any of these You might bonuses. convince me within the hour. <laughs>
That wraps up UFC Vegas 18. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button underneath. We have all of our information, Instagram, Twitter. Give us a follow. That's where all our picks are gonna go up. Uh, closer to Saturday, we'll have a bunch of content going up. So make sure you give us that subscribe, lock that in. Anything else, Siraj? That is all, my friend. Always a pleasure. Glad to get it rolling again. Let's get it. With these lines, we better Always get a pleasure, going. Dude. Take care. <laughs> you got it. Peace out.